Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 15 of the No Man's Land Builder Challenge with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to No Man's Land and the Builder Challenge. It's been a, a little while actually since I've been on this map um, and yeah, since I brought out a video on this map as well. Um, last video I did was actually a live stream for about an hour and we test beast uh, just to test how it went and yeah, if you enjoyed the live stream please let me know and I'll do some more of that because um, it, yeah, it seemed to work. It was a bit of a tester but all seemed to work okay. So in the last episode we got lots of trees planted and we'll go and show you how many trees we have planted in one second. But um, yeah, on top of that um, I delivered uh, a load more bits and bobs to the various productions and things like that. So we're doing okay with all that. Our grass is still growing and um, yeah, it's, yeah, I think today what we're going to do, we're going to put in a new field. So if I go onto the map, um, this area here that we chopped down all the trees, we're going to make into a new field and we're going to get that done. Um, I managed to get, in the, the last episode, I managed to get this field here um, finished off. So that's been, um, that's been harrowed, so that's ready to go. And then this field is not quite ready. Most of the grass is fully grown, but there's a patch of it that isn't, so I'm going to leave that for now. Our trees extend down the hill now, right to about here. Um, so we've got a big patch of forest in there, and I have dotted trees all over the place. So we've got a few down near our cell points down here, and yeah, we've kind of just yeah dotted them around the farm as well. So. It should be quite interesting as they grow to see what happens with them. If I go down to our stats, as you can see, we have planted 364 trees. So, yeah, we've almost become neutral. We've got um, yeah a few more to go to get to 372, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's uh, that's kind of quite good. Um, on all our production chain side of stuff, our grass is still chugging away, um, making silage. We've got 171,000 litres of silage at the moment. Um, lettuce is just chugging away. And our wooden planks are doing great. They're storing at the moment. So that's all doing it, the stuff it needs to. And then if we come down to here, we are now making mixed salad. Um, with the tomatoes and lettuce because it's actually worth quite a bit more money. So rather than making the tomato sauce that we were before, yeah, we've uh, we've started making that because yeah, like I said, yeah, it's worth worth quite a bit more money. So that's chugging away in there. So down here with the tractor, we are going to get rid of the landini. We've had it since the start, but it's sitting on 45.1 hours and. Yeah, I've basically run it out of fuel, run it out of uh, service, so we're going to get rid. Um, I'm going to keep the forks and the, the front loader attachment on it, um, but I'm going to start fresh with the weight and the tractor. Now, let's get these done. So go into here, may as well service and repair all this stuff. See, that's what I mean. It's ten grand each time now to service it. It's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it's worth sixty thousand. So we're going to sell that. We're going to sell that. But we're going to keep these things. So eighty-nine thousand to play with. So I think what we'll do, we'll go and over and see the lovely lady over here. And uh, yeah, let's go for some tractor action. 89. Give us a fair bit to play with, to be fair, but I don't have a great deal of money, I must admit. So, I think I didn't want to go for the Fiat Agri 18090 because I've just started using this a lot on my on the, the Discord server. Uh, Discord server. The dedicated server that uh, myself and Cobbler Farms started up. Um, it is a fantastic tractor for the money. Um, so 
and you can have a front loader on it as well. So I think we're going to go for it, but what my plan is, is I'm going to sell some stuff today and hopefully get a second tractor as well. So a two tractor day. So I'm going to get a front linkage on this and um, we'll just leave the wheels standard with variable rear track. Ooh. I don't know, I think, yeah. Yeah, no weights on them. We'll just go with standard. Yeah, why not? Let's just put that on. Single beacon, front loader, stall. Just keep that the same. And... Yeah. <sighs> no, I won't bother changing that. That's fine. Right, so that's our new tractor. Like I said, we've got 54,000 in the bank there. So I think... And uh, we can start afresh with the mileage, which is fine. Let's get that on there. Oh, I need a weight as well, don't I? That's fine. So get a weight as well while we're here. And we're going to go for... What have we got? I think... Yeah, I'll just go for this one again. I'm getting a rusty, rusty red this time. And I won't lose it. So I do like this tractor a lot. Um, I liked it in Farming Simulator 19, although I didn't use it that much, um, but yeah, it's a cool little tractor. So very similar to the Landini, um, but yeah, quite a bit cheaper, so we've saved ourselves a bundle of cash, which is all good. So I think, yeah, we'll get this back to the farm, and then what we'll do is, yeah, we'll head and get this field um, ploughed in, get this field created. So if I go this way, we'll show you some of the trees. Yeah, we'll get the field created and then, yeah, we can look at uh, what stuff we need to do. So uh, what else needs doing on it? I'll probably need the usuals, lime, fertiliser, stones picked, all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, we'll get on with that as well, but as you can see, I've laid a load of trees along here and out that way, right behind there, the the hay, hay shed and everything around there. I've added trees in around this electricity box and a load in this area here. So there's loads in here as well, all dotted about. And what I've done is I've added in is different types of trees so it's not necessarily the same trees so it's going to be a bit of a mixed forest so that's all in there and then yeah when we come up to here I've added some in here all around here and yeah those that didn't watch the last episode I have done quite a bit of decoration as well so um, it's all taking place. My ambition actually is to put some sort of garden centre in here as well. So we'll see how we do for funding by the end of this. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of trees in here as well. So yeah, like I said, been on a planting mission. We've got a lot of trees in. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will uh, improve our credentials, our environmental credentials a bit. Incidentally, I am not going to be putting precision farming onto this playthrough. Um, they will be featuring on all my other ones. Um, so the organic root challenge will have precision farming put on it um, very soon. 
um, in fact probably for the next episode and then Cobbler has added precision farming into the dedicated server as well so we're now playing that on the uh, Ange Vien countryside so that's uh, that's uh, going well I like I quite like the precision farming this time around it's very very similar to how it was on 19 but a few subtle differences yeah more trees in here and like I said yeah we've got this field all um, all done before so looking good got some seed over here and everything over here is doing fine as well so I think what we'll do we'll dump dump the forks just here okay. move this header out of the way Squeeze it in the back here. There we go. We'll get this plow on and then we can get the, the field started. So what I'll do is I'll get ourselves set up, get down to the field and we'll see you there. Alright, see you in a second. Okay, so we're just round in the first headland and yeah, what I'm looking to do is just get this uh oh, this completed. Um I have put more trees in here as well, so I've just run over one which is a bit of a shame. But um not to worry, I can re landscape that. Yeah, like I said, there's um there's trees galore everywhere, so yeah, I'll just I'll re-edge that bit of field there, that's fine. Uh, it's gonna be a bit close. Um but yeah, I've been everywhere with these trees. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh right, so let's finish off this edge. Okay. Get up to the top. Oh. So, like I said, it's a quite a big field this one actually, it's going to be a big field. Um, so once this is uh, once this up and running, yeah, we'll get some good crop out of this one. So what I'm going to do here, oh it's getting bogged down. I'm going to make myself a little bit of a, a field entrance. organising equipment and things like that. There we go, so if I go into the landscaping mode I won't be able to see the extent of this field. So yeah, it's a big old field definitely the biggest one we've got um, so a couple of entrances to it and this bit will be a sort of bit of a, a grassed in area and yeah I think time to fill it in so I think what we'll do is I'll set up a bit of a time lapse for this we'll get the, get the old tunes on and um, yeah let's get this uh, get this finished
Fantastic. So we're almost there. We have got this last couple of passes to do and then it is all cloud in. And as you can see it is a good sized field, definitely. Um, so it's going to be good fun uh, planting all this. Um, I may... oh, there's another tree stump. So I've found a few tree stumps along the way. There's only been three so far, which is pretty good going considering how many trees we've chopped down. So, yeah, I'll get along with the tree uh, stump grinder and get those out of the ground. Um, and then, yeah, next step, I guess, is to get the stones picked. What I think I'll probably do is I'm going to lease, lease the stone picker, the big one six meter one and then that's just going to speed this process up a bit but I will probably do that off camera um, and get it done between the ne this episode and the next because what I want to do next is I want to go and just double check our wood production our pallets um, oh sorry our planks sorry and we'll go and check see how much of that we've got to, to pick up um, I don't think there's that much but yeah, it's probably worth selling it. And then, yeah, it might pay a little bit off the loan. Yeah, I'm on tractor. So, last little bit. Let's get it done. Yeah, a bit of wheel spin here, because we're onto the softer stuff. But yeah done pretty well this bit. Quite happy with it. Um, look at that wheel spin though. Let's, uh, let's get onto the firmer stuff. There we go. The traction now. Right. So, three tree stumps is not too bad I don't think out of all of that. So we'll get rid of the get rid of the tree stumps. What I did uh, just between the, the wee break and the time lapse there, I did go over and I just sorted out this little corner here so the trees are no longer in the field, which is fine. Um, just a little bit of landscape in there just to, to get it right. That's why my money's gone down a teeny bit. Um, but that's that. And yeah, we'll go and take this plough back to the farm. And yeah, we'll double check um, whether we've got any uh, any products to pick up. Right, see you probably over towards the sawmill, I think. Okay, so over at the sawmill then, I've got one lot of 
planks so far. Oh, that's a bit wobbly. That's a bit better. There we go. So we'll get these into onto the trailer. So if I can get a couple on here, that'd be great. A bit wonky. Try and line it up a little bit better. Okay. Oh, don't jiggle. Don't jiggle. There we go. Let's push that along a little bit. Better. Right. Got another one here, so let's get this on. So selling these should hopefully give us some uh, some income. What I think I will do with the this income, there's some I will spend, and then some I will use for uh, the loan because I want to get past stage one. Once stage one is complete, then I can yeah really get on with uh, building this map up, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. There we go, there's two. Get this one on as well. Sure are heavy these planks of wood. Oh, let's stop that jiggling. Okay. Any more for any more? No, that's it. Perfect. Right. Okay. Get these secured. I think they're on. And I just left the seeds on here and I brought down some lettuce as well because that can go into one of the storage places. So let's have a look. See which is the best place to sell stuff. Um, planks. There we go. So, best place just now is the farm shop. So, we shall mark that. Two four seven one yes okay so let's go and get this sold and yeah we'll see how much money we make from it right see you down at the farm shop okay here we go just coming up the hill into this very very heavy trailer so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse onto this so I don't sell this lettuce by accident. Hopefully the trigger's not too... There we go, 18,534. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to our sort of little selling area and I think yeah we'll finish the episode over there what I plan to do like I said um, I mentioned it at the start of the episode is I think I'm going to build myself a garden centre so although we've got our nice greenhouse there 
uh, back at the farm. What I'm thinking is we'll make an actual garden centre and have yeah two or three greenhouses um, and yeah just yeah maybe maybe um, maybe something else. We'll have a think about it. But what the idea would be is that it it, it supplies this um, this cell point over here. So. I think that would work quite well. Just keep away from that a second. I'm trying to avoid things going into the wrong place. Okay, so if we put this here. Okay. Put that into the production point. There we go. That should have topped the lettuce up. Um yeah, there we go. So, yeah, that's chugging away nicely. Uh, how far are we off um, mixed salad? Yeah, we're getting there. Four, seven, eight. Should have a, a top or two soon. So, yeah, the plan is, I think, obviously we've got our parking bays here. Um, so I think what we'll do, we'll build our sort of garden centre around here somewhere and uh, get it done but I think before we finish the episode let's go down to our finances screen and I'm going to pay off 20,000 20, of the loan so yeah let's go 30 there you go nice so, slowly chipping away at that now, um, I think we'll probably go on a bit of a selling mission as well next episode. I'll see how much money I've got left after um, after we uh, build this garden centre. And I think what I'll do is I'll throw that into a bit of an intro on the next episode. And then that way we'll get, um, get the most out of the episode. But... Um, yeah, this this seed we'll use for that. I think uh, we'll use it to supply the greenhouses uh, once we've built them. So I'll finish unpacking this and get this all uh, all off here, and then yeah, we will see you next time on um, the No Man's Land Builder Challenge. If you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share or comment, you're more than welcome to. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, um, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day there. I do apologise for the sort of lack of episodes recently. I, I, re I really hurt my wrist, actually. Um, so much so I had to go to A&E and just get it checked. Because um, uh, I thought it was broken. But actually, yeah, it's... It's just badly sprained, so I can still hold a controller, just about. Uh, but I had to take a couple of days out, and yeah, I've been very, very busy with um, courses and uh, work courses and things like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more episodes out in the next week or so. Um, don't forget to check out the Organic Root Challenge and Farmers of Angevin. Um We've got... Uh, dedicated server running so if you're keen to jump on the server please let me know um, there's still spaces available if you want to jump on um, you don't necessarily need to be a create a content creator we've got um, a couple of guys on there that are just doing their own thing which is absolutely fantastic um, and they're just helping helping the people out where they want to and yeah uh, it's really really good fun um, so yeah if you're keen on that as well don't forget to get in touch and I'll I'll, I'll throw you a couple of farms this way and he can get you sorted with uh, with getting set up but um, yeah take care of yourselves we'll see you next time so all the best <laughs>